Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope that all of you are having a great day, and thank you for joining me here today for your daily dose of Star Wars. The Last Jedi is out, but today we are jumping back to The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens first arrived into theaters in December 2015, and brought audiences back to the theater to see a Star Wars film. Something that hadn't happened since Revenge of the Sith. Since then, that film has kicked off the massive planned Star Wars film future. The Force Awakens led us to Rogue One, which led us to The Last Jedi, which will lead us to Solo in May, to Episode 9 after that, and etc. The Force Awakens was done by J.J. Abrams, but while the entire story revolved around finding Luke Skywalker, he wasn't in the film until the last 45 seconds. In the last 45 seconds, we see Luke turn around and remove his hood, and then give us a range of emotions before the final credits start to roll. We found out after The Force Awakens came out that the ending we saw was an ending that was altered at the last minute. Mark noticed something that would have made The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi contradict each other. But before we go any farther, I want to throw out a spoiler warning just in case you haven't seen anything about The Last Jedi and you didn't want to know what might have happened that would have been conflicting with The Force Awakens. But you know, I'd much rather be so powerful I have Force lightning coming out of my ears. And you know, when we were doing the Seven, Ryan said, oh, and by the way, I might have a couple of bowls that's floating to show your, your force emanating. So I was led to believe that I still had the force and that it was really strong in me. Of course. In fact, when I read 8 before 7 came out, I said, what? And I called, I, did I call JJ or Ryan? Somebody said, to say, are you guys aware of this? Have you seen a cut? Is there a floating boulder? So they said, no, no, we caught that. And we worked it all out. Like Mark and Daisy said, this clip would have changed the entire story, because we wouldn't have had that emotional intensity with Luke when he decided to reconnect himself with the Force. If they went along with Luke holding up these rocks, then the entire story would have been altered. It would have had to have been altered, but since it was taken out, the story Ryan was telling worked better. It still seems like there were remnants from that idea though. For example, in the movie we have Luke tell Rey, the Force is not about lifting rocks and this joke felt a little out of place in the film. But then I sat there and thought about it for a second or two, and thought to myself, well, Luke lifted rocks in Empire as part of his training with Yoda, so maybe he's just referring to that. Later on in the film when Rey is going to free everyone on Crate, and the remaining members of the Resistance are all following Poe's idea to escape in the same place the Silver Foxes are, Rey kind of makes the joke to herself when she says, lifting rocks. And then Ryan shows this great shot of Rey lifting all these rocks, and if I had to guess, this is probably what the shot of Luke holding up all the rocks with the Force would have looked like as well with Rey arriving. Let me know what you guys think. Would you have rather had Luke just turn around and drop his hood, or would you rather have had him lifting rocks and showing us that he's still very strong with the Force? Let me know with a comment down below. That wraps things up for me here in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. If you're a daily coffee drinker and want to become one, hit that bell down there to receive a notification on your iOS or Android device the second a new video goes live. If you want more Star Wars coffee, you can always follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at SWCoffeeYouTube. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, keep loving Star Wars, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.